people come here and they can actually feel the love of the area and the environment and our passion of doing this. One of our favorite parts about being here and why we're here is that we love to be able to introduce people to this little piece of heaven. Our skies are amazing here. You'll see almost 24 hour daylight and as the summer progresses, amazing sunrises and sunsets. And then later in the fall, you'll possibly be able to even view the Aurora Borealis. Normally by mid-August, we have enough darkness that you will see them if they are visible at that time. We are one uh, of the few lodges that are allowed to self-guide. We have what is called protected waters. So at the widest point of this lake, uh, you're less than a mile, which gives us the opportunity to let people go out and experience fishing the way they want to do it, on their own time, at their own leisure. Uh, that's one of the things that makes us unique in this marketplace. Okay, so we have basic four species that are readily available. So we have uh, the grayling up at the falls, which is primarily fly fishing, but they can be caught on small spin casting. We have the whitefish, which are available for fly fishing and spin casting in the spring, uh, but predominantly in the fall pre-spawn. We have lake trout, which are available all year during the height of the of the heat during the summer they're a little bit deeper but in the spring and the fall they're right at surface and we have our northern pike which are available pretty much all year long yeah so this lake uh, for the last 25 years roughly has been strictly catch and release we do keep some fish for table fare fish fries that sort of thing but uh, predominantly catch and release and it's it's better this way then everybody's got the same opportunity when they come we are the only facility uh, on the lake there are no other lodges there are no private cabins uh, you will not see another boat other than the ones that come from the lodge the lake is yours So a couple areas uh, that we can highlight on this lake is uh, the beach at the very south end, a uh, very lovely spot. The outlet falls where Hearn Lake drains into Water Lake is an ideal location to stop as a group, have lunch, uh, just enjoy the scenery and then carry on uh, fishing for the rest of the day. We, uh, the inlet falls were the river, Bolio River runs into Hearn Lake, is uh, where we go for the grayling and it's another ideal location for photography or just to sit down and enjoy nature. We also go to Trout Lake, which we have about a mile or a kilometer and a half of uh, groom trail that we take our all-terrain machine and we take people over to fish at, uh, at our second lake. Well, and that's part of the, the whole experience is exploring the lake and all the different areas and the coves and the shorelines. We like to tell our guests, especially our first time guests, that you can quite literally get off the float plane at the dock with your clothing and your toothbrush and everything else is here for you. You do not have to worry about packing at excessive luggage or even fishing gear. We supply it all. So our lodge is located north of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, we're in the Northwest Territories. 
It's about a two hour flight from Edmonton to arrive in Yellowknife. Once you've arrived in Yellowknife, you will travel on a vintage Beaver aircraft to the lodge. It's at about a 20 to 25 minute float plane ride and you land at our dock and that's when your adventure begins. Once you arrive at the lodge, um, you'll be assigned a guest room and that guest room has two comfortable beds in it. On that same level, there's two full service washrooms with showers, flush toilets, sinks, hot water. We have our Dragonfly Cot Cabin, which is set up for families or couples to enjoy that space. And we also have a wood fire jetted cedar hot tub for our guests to be able to use. The lodge building itself is open 24 hours a day. There's a comfortable sitting area, the dining area, and we're located right on the edge of the water so you can have beautiful views of the, the fish jumping, the, the loons, the various birds that are out there. Coffee's on at 7 in the morning and from there you'll progress to a delicious breakfast. All of the baking, the breads, the buns, etc. are done in-house. Sure. You guys are going to have a wild time today. <laughs> there's nothing store-bought here. Normally there's a packed lunch because you're going to want to spend the day on the water or exploring. That packed lunch will consist of home-baked buns, sandwich meats, home-baked cookies, fruit, granola bars. Then we progress into dinner and it's all served family style, so we're just one big happy group sitting at the table. Just sitting here. Arrive as a guest and leave as a friend. Thank you. It's actually become more than that. Uh, friends for sure, but some of these people are, are not like family Welcome. you know the expectation when they get off the dock is like you're seeing your your family again that you haven't seen for a year and that's how they view it as well like this is this is home uh, they don't want to go anywhere else we we really enjoy having them out younger families with children uh, it's it's the whole experience to see the joy in their face uh, so the work is effortless when they're happy. This is, they feel good here, uh, they can do what they want, when they want to do it. And uh, one guest uh, who's been here many times said, we used to come for the fishing, now we just come to be here. <laughs>